have you felt a, a shift? Has the, the mission of the show had to adjust as not just who's president and what's going on there, but how people converse and how we've become divided? Have you felt uh, just more of like emboldened in your original mission? Have you been like, well, now we have to tackle these things because this is what's imperative right now. Has, has any of that culturally affected you guys and what you set out to do from the beginning? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I, uh, well, you know, first of all, in terms of interfacing with day-to-day -day politics, uh, we, we have always been very, very careful about when we do that, you know, and, we, and our show is not topical, so we're not able to talk about the news of the day, um, but we do do things that keep coming around, right? Like we did a segment when Trump was running, we did a segment on here's why the wall didn't work. Why, oh, here's why the wall wouldn't work, excuse me. Um, and uh, that was, you know, obviously spurred by the fact that Trump was running on it, but he didn't come up with the idea. It was an idea before that, and, uh, you know, we did an episode on immigration because that's something that, that's in the news now. And the great thing about doing it that way is it's continued to be topical in the three years since. You know, people are still sharing that video, obviously now, right? It's yeah. still an issue today. Um, uh, so, we, we, you know, that when we take that approach, we find that it, it has relevance all the time. Um, as for why our, as for speaking to uh, a country that's divided, even before the election in 2016, I always wanted to do a show that would speak to everyone in the country, uh, that that would be our goal. Uh, and that doesn't mean that every single person in the country is going to watch the show and, uh, uh, you know, love it, right? Yeah. Obviously, there is that 5% of folks whose, you know, minds are very closed um, and, and are not going to be able to uh, get it. Uh, and that's, and I mean that on every issue. I'm not just talking about, you know, people on one side of the spectrum. There are always, there's always those outliers, right? Um, but uh, I uh, have always felt that I wanted to make a show that, spoke to people where they were at and treated them with respect and gave them the opportunity to learn and grow by watching the show. Uh, and I, I'm proud to say that I, that I think we've done that. You know, our, our, our gun episode, uh, we, I used to say a couple years ago in 2015 that that's not an episode that we would ever do because uh, if you say to someone, hey, I'm doing an episode about guns, they're going to say, oh, okay, well, you better say what I want you to say. You're going to say my side, right? Because if you don't, I'm changing the channel. I'm watching you to see if you're going to be on my side, right? Whereas if I say, hey, I'm doing an episode about animals, they're like, ooh, what are you going to say about animals? Uh, I don't have any opinion about animals, no, you know? Strong, yeah, nothing, nothing that strong. So, so that's why I thought, hey, these are the fault lines of American society, and I don't want to fall into them. I want to hit them where they're not looking. I want to go, uh, you know, because, and, because that's the truth. We are divided, but we're divided on just a few issues, yeah. you know? Um, and so my strategy has always been, well, let's find a way of, let's go and talk about everything else that no one else on television is talking about where people are, that people are more open-minded about, right? Um, that being said, after you know, four years of doing the show, we said, hey, we, we've gotten pretty good at making the show. There, is a lot, there are a lot of misconceptions about guns and myths about them, and we can do an episode, we really think we can do an episode that can speak to everyone in the country, that everyone in the country can watch it and be challenged um, and have something to learn throughout the episode. Um, and that doesn't mean that everybody loved it. A lot of people did not like that episode. But I still think that if those people took a second and slowed down a little bit and watched it again, you know, and, and uh, you know, went in with less of a, I'm going to smack this down kind of mind and more of a, here's, you know, can I learn something kind of mind? I, I, I really do think um, that we did what we set out to do.